A little quick tip if you're working with React, and this is really, really handy. Uh, I found this out a few months back. Uh, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to pass props down to all of the components that you're rendering in your application, meaning uh, if we have something like React Router running in our application, and for every single component that we're rendering on a route, we need to pass down props, uh, there's a little trick we can use in React, and it's this clone element method. So what clone element does is it says, pass me an element to clone, but when I do it, and by clone we just mean make a copy of, uh, but when I make a clone of this or a copy of this, also, this is the neat part, pass props down to me if you want. So in this case, what we're saying is clone the element that we pass in here, and then attach these props to it. And so in the case of our router, we're using app, which is our layout file. This is just responsible for rendering the, the general layout of the site as well as the component that we're trying to render for that view. So in this case, we have index. This is just our generic index page. And this is in base, which is the uh, boilerplate that we use here at the Meteor Chef for building Meteor apps. Uh, so in base, we have an index component and that's rendered into the app. And so automatically without any interaction by us, uh, in this case React Router is saying, okay, when we hit index, so meaning just localhost 3000 slash or whatever your, your current uh, domain is, wherever you're running your app, when we do that, load the index component into the app and the way that it loads it is via the children prop on the app component. So because here we've specified the, the overall component, so notice all of these routes are nested, and so we can tell React Router, okay, don't just render this component on screen, but render it within this component. So in this case, we're saying, okay, this is our layout for the entire application app, and in app, we look at this.props.children to actually render whatever component we've been passed down. So this.props.children here is identical to index here. So it just maps down. So if we went to slash documents, we'd get the documents component spitting out where this.props.children is. And so the reason we use something like clone element is we can now pass props down to each of those children. And in the case of this tutorial, what we're covering here is the ability to set up a global modal in React. So we have one modal method for our entire application and we can pass it down to every single page that we render in our application. So page is just analogous with a component that's rendered by the route. Uh, so we can attach this modal method to every single thing. Um, but beyond just this modal component, this is a great thing to know about uh, if you're working with anything else that needs to have global state. And this works at any level. So we're using it uh, in this case in our app layout, but you can use this anywhere in React. So uh, that's it. Just a quick little tip, but very good to know. If you ever need to take an element and apply props to it or multiple elements and apply props to them uh, where a given element is dynamic, use React clone element and you will be a very happy person.